Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm Gina and I'm glad you're here. Today we're doing Swiss steak in the Instant Pot. Now the first thing you'll want to do is turn, turn your Instant Pot to uh, saute and add a couple tablespoons of oil. I'm using grapeseed oil. Here I have tenderized ground steak and you can use anywhere from two to three pounds. Just your choice of beef steak cut into um, portion sizes. I've got this cut up into si it, to about like this. Okay, so I have some flour that I've put together in this bowl here. Um, let's see. My spices are two teaspoons of garlic powder, a teaspoon of salt, and a teaspoon, well, about a half teaspoon of black pepper. And I'm going to put this on my steaks, and then I'm going to dredge them in this flour before I fry them up. I just find this easy, easy way to batter it really quickly. You may need to do this in batches in order to get it lightly browned on all sides. It's just kind of according to how much you have. Turn it over when it's gotten lightly browned. You might want it a little browner than that. It's kind of up to you. If you need to add a little bit more oil, that's definitely okay. okay I'm going to take the rest of this out so that I can give it a streak down there. I don't want to get a burn notice. You know what I mean? Plus, this provides a lot of flavor. Just a lovely little bit. Put it back in. I do have the saute turned off now. Now I'm going to add a cup of beef broth. Low sodium. Most of, a lot of the sauces have uh, more sodium in them than we really need, and that's one reason I like to cook at home so that I can watch those things. You know, the ingredients that are that are in things, and uh, getting low sodium is one way we can do that. So I'm using a homemade jar of tomatoes, but it's the equivalent of one can of stewed tomatoes. Now, I'm using a shortcut today. It is a bag of pepper and onions uh, sliced up. Um, if you don't have that, you can use at least one whole bell pepper sliced up and one whole onion. I'm gonna give it a stir. 
If you prefer, you can, you know, lightly saute those instead of just adding them in on top. It's up to you. Sometimes I do that and sometimes I just put them in on top, so. Okay, I'm gonna put the lid on it. Make sure it's in sealing. And set it for 30 minutes. Now my husband, when he cooks Swiss steak, a lot of times he cooks it in the crock pot and he'll just put the meat in there and he'll put in a couple cans of tomatoes and that's it. Me, I like to sneak in the vegetables, especially the bell peppers, because they're loaded with vitamin C and a lot of other vitamins and minerals. And especially vitamin C is really good for the body for growth, development, um, collagen. That's something that you need when you get older. So, you know, that's something that I like to sneak in there if I can. And plus, I think it's good for, you know, my family, for myself. And uh, that's one thing I like about cooking at home is that you can put the things in there that you, you know, want your, for yourself or for your family. So the timer has gone off and I've allowed this to natural release for 10 minutes. So I'm gonna release the rest of the pressure now. Mm, it smells really good. to give us a taste. Mm. Mm. That's really good. We usually like to serve it with or on top of mashed potatoes. You could also serve it with rice or on top of noodles, something like that. Um, but you'll enjoy it however you choose to serve it. Be kind to one another and thanks for watching.